Welcome to our Electrical Engineering YouTube channel. In this video, we will see an example on Equivalent Resistance. If you want to download our Electrical Engineering app, you can visit this website link electrical-engineering.app. This app is especially designed for electrical and electronics engineering students. Question: Find equivalent resistance between terminals A and B. Now, here for this network, we have to determine its equivalent resistance. Solution First of all, we will take this network. Now, here we can see this is the same node or terminal. We can say this is A, and here also this is A, and at this node, this is B. Similarly, this is also B because they are both same. Now, again, we will redraw this network and simplify this so basically we have two terminals a and b so let's say this is terminal a and this is terminal b now in between terminal a and b there is one resistance of 4 ohm first of all so this is of 4 ohm this is of 4 ohm now next between a and B, there is, there are two more resistances, 8 ohm and 6 ohm. So, let's connect this. Eight ohm and 6 ohm. So, this 8 ohm and this 6 ohm. Then again, this 2 ohm and this 4 ohm, they are connected in series between A and B. Again, so 2 ohm and 4 ohm. So, this will be 2 ohm and this will be 4 ohm. So, this is 2 ohm and this is 4 ohm. Now, this 4 ohm is remain between A and B again. So again between A and B, this 4 ohm is remain. So it will be 4 ohm. Now we will count how many resistances are here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So hence the circuit if we simplify this network, then the network will look like this. Now we can easily simplify this. Now here we can clearly see this 8 ohm and this 6 ohm, they are connected in series. So it will be simply 14 ohm. It will be like this 8 plus 6. So 8 plus 6 is 14 ohm. Then this 14 ohm is in parallel with this 4 ohm. So, before that we will solve this. This 2 ohm and this 4 ohm, they are connected in series. So, it will be simply 6 ohm. Here we can write 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 ohm. Now, again we can redraw this network. So, let's copy it. And paste it here. So now we can replace these two by a single resistance of 14 ohm. So it will look like this. This will be of 14 ohm. And here this will be replaced by a single resistance of 6 ohm simply. So it will be of 6 ohm. Now here we can see all of all of these resistances are connected in parallel. So therefore 1 upon R A B is equal to 1 upon 14 plus 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 6 
then plus 1 upon 4. If we solve this, we get 1 upon 14 plus 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 6 then plus 1 upon 4. 1 upon 14 plus 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 6 plus 1 upon 4. So, it will be simply 31 divided by 42. 31 divided by 42. Now, here we have to take its reciprocal. So, therefore, R A B is equal to 42 divided by 31. We have to take its reciprocal and it will be 42 divided by 31 ohm. Now, if we simplify this, so it will be 0 0.738. 0 0.738 ohm is the final answer for this RAB. Again, we can verify our answer. So, let's see. We have to find the equivalent resistance between terminals A and B. So, here is the network. Now, what we did? So, first of all, there are two terminals A and B. Again, we have redrawn this network. So, this 4 ohm we have taken first of all. So, let's check. So, this is the 4 ohm. This one is the 4 ohm. Then next we have taken this 8 ohm and this 6 ohm between A and B. So, here 8 ohm and 6 ohm between A and B. Then next we have taken this 2 ohm and 4 ohm between A and B. So, this 2 ohm and 4 ohm between A and D. And finally, we have taken this 4 ohm between A and B. So, here is the 4 ohm between A and B. Then, we solve this 8 plus 6. So, 8 plus 6 is 14 ohm in series. Then, this 2 plus 4 is 6 ohm. Then again, we have redrawn this network. So, here we have replaced these 2 by 14 ohm and these 2 by 6 ohm. So, here it is 14 ohm and here it is 6 ohm and all of them are connected in parallel. So, here we can see all of these are connected in parallel and if we solve this, we get this answer 31 divided by 42. And if we take the reciprocal of this, so finally we get 42 divided by 31 and 42 divided by 31 is here we have to take its reciprocal. Here we did a little mistake. So, we have to take 42 divided by 31. It is 1.35. So, it will be actually, the final answer will be 1.35 ohm is the final answer. So, this is now correct. We have to take 42 divided by 31 and that is 1.35 ohm. So, this is how we can solve these types of network. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.